welcome to Dara Influenza. In today's video, I will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can create kids educational videos using only AI tools. There are three advantages of creating these type of videos. Number one is that parents love them because they keep their children informed. And number two is that they do not violate the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. And number three is they add value to the lives of the kids which is one of the most important fundamental aspect of us creating these videos. Imagine you want to create a video teaching kids about senses and the body parts that are associated with it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll need a lesson to tell or a script to tell. So to do this, we can simply use ChatGPT. Once we're on ChatGPT, we can ask ChatGPT this prompt. Write me a short, simple lesson for kids about the five senses Mention each sense and the body parts associated with it. Make it fun and interesting for kids. So from there, we can click on enter. So this is what ChatGPT has written for us. This is very interesting and very wonderful. So we have the sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of touch, taste and smell. So what we can simply do from here is we need to read through this lesson so that we make sure to say the information ChatGPT has provided for us is very accurate because we want to make sure to say the video we're creating is very informative. So what we simply have to do from there is we can also paraphrase the, the script if there are any changes that we'd like to make or if there are any twists that we'd like to make. We can simply do them from here. All we have to do is copy the entire text, paste it in a Google Doc, and from there you can do the editing or you can use an AI tool to paraphrase your, your, your script and to make it the way you would want it to sound. So once we are done, it's time to move to the second step, which is generating the video. And the software that we're going to use today is called Steve.ai. So once you go to Steve.ai, sign up with your email or your Google account. And from there, you land on this dashboard. So here there is where it is written to say text to Gen AI video and there is where it is written to say text to animation. So there is also this which is text to video and there are a lot of things that you can make here like text to, to uh, video to video and talking head uh, video. So our focus in today's video is only on text to animation. So what we simply have to do is we can click on where it says start okay so it has opened up a new window and it is asking us to mention what our video is all about so we can simply add in some few text to tell it what our video is all about for example our video is about education so we can simply type in to say our video is about education so once you finish typing in your text you can even come here where it says training and educational so this is what our video is about so from there you need to come to where it says generate script okay so from there it will land us to this dashboard we need to paste in our script here and this software it, uh, what it will simply do is it will divide our our script into uh, scenes so we'll go back to chat gpt uh, we'll copy our script starting from where it says hi curious kiddos after we copy that we go back to uh, steve.ai and we paste in our our, our 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 script there once your script has been pasted if you observe carefully it has been divided into scenes so you have seen scene one and scene two up to the last scene so what we simply have to do there before we uh, proceed to the next step we need to check out these uh, boxes that are at the bottom here so the first one says enter the topic of your video okay so we can click there and we can select uh, any of these as uh, uh, as our topics so our topic is about senses so we'll click on sense okay from there we can come here to where it says type of a video so the type of video will leave it to animation video and we can come to where it says source images and video so from here we can just select all and what we simply have to do is come to where it says uh, add a voice over and you can also do some auto highlight and you can also add in some background music i'll just turn this one off and I'll come to where it says add 
a voiceover. So there are not so much voices that you can choose from. So the first thing that we need to do is to select a language, which is English and the accent. Uh, I'll go for British. And uh, from there, I will leave the gender to be female. And from there, I need to choose the voice of our artist that I would, I, I would love. Okay, so I'll select Matilda. She sounds very realistic to me. And after that, I will come to where it says generate voice. And once we are done selecting everything, we click on the next button here. The, it will bring us to these uh, themes that we would need to choose. Okay, so take your time, select the theme that you would love to use for your video. Okay, uh, I will go for this one. Pick the one that you prefer. So what it's simply doing is, it is loading all our scenes and uh, text together so that it makes up that one single awesome video that we can upload on our YouTube channel. So if you're finding value in this video, subscribe to our channel and let me know what you think in the comment section about this entire process. I'd love to hear from you and I would also love to hear how your channel is doing. Okay, so it has finished generating our video. So we have the first scene, the second scene, the third scene. And this is very wonderful and awesome. What we simply have to do is, when we click on the first scene, we can simply customize all this that we are seeing on our first scene. For example, when we click on the first character, these options will pop up. The first one is we can change the action of our, our character. We can also change the character itself. And we can also change the color. For example... Uh, let's play the video to see how the, the the character is moving hey there curious kiddos okay so what we can simply do here as it is introducing to say hey there curious kiddos so i will change the character to someone who is like more live like he's doing a, a, a presentation or something like a lesson to the kids so just click on the character then i'll come to where it says change action so there are a lot of actions that we can choose from or we can just simply search for a particular action that we are looking for for example in form of a teacher so i've just searched for teacher and these are some of the uh, animations that i've just popped up i think i like this one so we'll just click on her or on it uh, she's a she's a she okay so it has changed our, our animated character so what we simply have to do is if we do not like the type of clothes and um, uh, she's wearing or the color of clothes she's wearing what we simply have to do is we can click on the uh, animated character and we can come to where it says change color so here the we have the color of the uh, skin the color of the eyes the color of the hair the color of the mouth the eyebrows and up to the shoes so what i think i can only change here is uh, the color of the top wear so click on this one i think pink will do okay i don't know if that's pink or or purple <laughs> i'm not sure on that okay uh let me also change the color of this uh, uh the color of the bottom wear which is the trousers so i'll just select it to be a uh, black like that perfect then what i simply have to do is i can also resize increase the size of my character up to there and i can also position this text however i want it so this is the process that we simply have to repeat in all our scenes until we are done once you are done animating your first scene you can go to the second scene and repeat the same process you read through your text if there is an animation that you need to add you can simply add it there and what you can simply do is go through the third scene and you can change the character if you do not like the character. And there is one thing I want you to observe carefully. Uh, let's go to the fifth scene. So this is where it introduces the site. So we can click on the, the character or the property that we have. And we can come here to the property setting and we can choose for something that we feel will be appropriate for our scene. So we can just search for eyes. And I think... I like this one so this is the one that I will use and I will increase the size up to this much so I'll go to this to the 60th scene up to the final scene so what I need to do is change where it must be changed increase the size where it is necessary and add in animated characters where you feel it is necessary like when it's talking about the sense of smell make sure you add in a character that represents a smelling or a body part that is used for for smelling which is the nose if it's talking about hearing you you add in 
a, a property or an object that represents hearing in your sin. By doing so, it makes your sin to be live. It makes your lesson to be live. It makes your entire video to be awesome. So once you are done animating your entire video, what you simply have to do is, if you would want to add in some voices, you can simply come to where it says music and come to where it says add music. And from here, you can simply look for a, a particular music that will suit your video. If you do not find the one that you love, you can simply go to YouTube Studio uh, Library. You can also search for uh, uh, music sound on Pixabay, which is uh, copyright free. And if you need to give credit, make sure you give credit to the owner of the song to avoid some copyright issues. Okay, so our music has been added. We can listen to it. Hey there, curious kiddos. Today, we're going on a super duper adventure to discover the fantastic world Okay, so the music is fantastic, the transitions are fantastic, and the animations are just blending in together. This is very awesome. I love the, the, the slideshow. It is just so perfect. So once you are done with your video, all you have to do is come to where it says publish. So what you simply have to do is you can add in the title of your video and you, uh, with a free version. So you can only download up to 720p and you cannot download the full HD, which is 1080p because it's for a paid plans. So you're only limited to that. Then the other thing is if you're using a free version, it will come with a watermark like this, which says Steve AI. And from there, you can come to where it says download. Then the other thing is when we want to download, let me show you the pricing for this. Uh, software so you can choose your pricing plan so the basic plan is $15 per month and you get 720p videos resolution and five video downloads per month 10 credit to use premium assets per month 15 credits for AI images generation per month and for the starter plan which is $45 per month you get everything in basic plus 15 video downloads per month uh, 1080p video resolution which is a high quality quality and 10 voice over accents in English 25 credit to use for premium assets per month so this is the pricing that's if you would want to use this software so let me know what you think in the comment section below about this entire video and let's see the way it looks hey there curious kiddos today we're going on a super duper adventure to discover the fantastic world of our five senses. Buckle up and let's get started. 1. Sight. Imagine you have magical eyes on your face. These amazing eyes help you see all the colors, shapes, and wonders around you. They're like tiny superheroes called eyeballs, located right in your face mask. I mean, your face. Look around and spot the rainbow of colors. Can you see the smiley face winking at you? 2. Hearing. Now, perk up your magical listening ears. 